Coming up next to the stage, very funny guy, um, the very tall, the very handsome, Mr. Rudy Wilson, everybody. Rudy Wilson. All right. I'll tell you one thing, it's much cooler up here than it is back there. I mean, it's so fucking hot. I heard a white woman back there, she got converted from racism. She was like, she heard me say, it's hot as a slave ship. She said, is this what it was like? I said, yeah, yeah. She said, oh my God. If my grandfather was here, I would tell him straight. I said, we can dig that motherfucker up now. So, it's hot as fuck. I don't know what is going on up here. It's cool as a motherfucking fan of this bitch, so. Even if y'all give me the light, I might just hang out up here for the rest of the night because I'm drinking and shit, I'm hot as a motherfucker. But uh, this, this, this bitch do kind of got like a slave ship look, if you think about it. Like, you hear Wonderland Ballroom, you like, oh, that shit, you know, that shit put together. You know what I'm saying? Eh? You think they gonna have, you know, tables and butlers and shit, you know, a salad fork, you know, a soup spoon and shit. You get this bitch, it's like, whoa! 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 <laughs> Bitch, I paid $10 to get in here. I ain't finna work. <laughs> Fuck that. Anybody in here got kids? Yeah, me either. Me either. Fuck that shit. Had a couple close calls, though. But I, I, I realized I, I probably don't need any kids because I'm, I'm a kind of fucked up babysitter. A real fucked up babysitter. I was, I was watching my friend kid one time. He was like, hey, man, I need you to take my daughter to the orthodontist, you know what I'm saying? She got braces, she need to get her shit rewired, take her to the orthodontist. I'm like, okay, cool, you know, I can handle that. Now, uh, the good news is I have a, a bachelor's degree in business administration, so you would think, no, 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 hold on, hold the clap for a second, because you might want to hear the rest of this story before you apply. So I got a bachelor's in business administration, you know, so you would think, you know, I can read, write, arithmetic, you know, whatever. Um, so lo and behold, I found out I never made it to the orthodontist. When I pulled up outside, I didn't realize the sign said orphanage. And um, I was wondering why the social worker was looking at me fucked up when I was like, hey, what time should I come and get her? He was like, people don't usually come and get their kids when they bring them here. I'm like, oh, so y'all got like a shuttle system, so I don't even have to go pick the motherfucker up. It was like, sir, you might be at the wrong place. No, no, go ahead. I'll call her daddy, tell her come pick her up. And we'll be on our way. And uh, I did I did at least two nights in jail, but you know, I held my own. I had a dude walk up behind me and say it's winky time. I'm not really sure what that meant, but you know, shit happens. <laughs> Speaking of shit, um, some of y'all may have heard me say this before. You know, I, I like to classify myself as a professional farter. Passing gas. I'm fucking legit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, pass gas, you know, get out the car, go inside the grocery store, come back, the gas still sitting there. You know, still stink as hell. So one time, you know, I got pretty intimate with my gas, got pretty intimate. Like, we was almost like in a relationship. And um, I came home from the club one time, and my fart just sitting there on the couch with his legs crossed, talking about, where your ass been? <laughs> I got confused. I'm looking back at my ass and shit, man. Like, who the fuck you think you talking to? Both of y'all. Y'all motherfuckers running around chasing out all this ass. You got me sitting here at the house. Speaking of relationships, so I, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick side note. One of the funniest things I find about comedy shows is as a comedian, you playing so many jokes. And it's like the jokes you think gonna be funny, people just stare at your ass. But then you'll say something like, speaking of relationships, and ha 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 I was like, that, that wasn't the punchline, but I appreciate it. Uh, just, you know, tip anybody who might be on to be a comedian. It's a hard not life. Uh, speaking of relationships, so I recently bought a dog. And, uh, you know, little, little, little nine week uh, year old, little female dog named Saint, pisses everywhere. Um, fucked up part is I live, you know, I got my girl living with me. So ironically, I got two bitches in the house now. And, um, you know, and, and, and it's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, you know, going into this thing, I didn't think it was gonna be that much work, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta bathe this motherfucker, 
you know, walk this motherfucker, take it out the shit, you know, make sure you eat and all that type of shit. And on top of all that, I still gotta take care of the dog. So it's like, you know, like it. That was fucked up. Okay, I'll move on. But speaking of bitches though, so my mom, um, my mom, you know, she, she kind of fucked me up, you know, because a lot of people, you know, they say they're an ass man, they're a breast man. I used to be a breast man. I had to switch the legs because my mom fucked me up. You know, my mom, she she pretty heavy in church. You know what I'm saying? And we was at home, you know, she and she watching, you know, some church thing on TV or whatever like that. My mom, you know, black people, I know y'all can probably roll with me on this, but, but any other race, you know, if you don't know what shouting means, you know, they kind of do like a little, a little jump around, you know, dance to the music. And so, there you go, there you go. And so as, as my mom was shouting, I started hearing this clapping noise. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I mean, I, I just thought maybe, you know, the church service was so intense that the people's hands clapped were just intensifying through the TV screen. And I'm just hearing it. It just kept getting louder and louder. Smack, 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 smack. I'm like, mom, what the fuck is that clapping noise? I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, <laughs> that was the fucking punchline. I ain't gonna talk about my mom too bad, cause she gonna see this video, and she gonna beat the fuck out of me. Uh, before I go, I guess, uh, man, I, I literally came up here and told no joke that I prepared. This shit was random as fuck, so I'll try to end with one that I actually came up with. Um, Look at the black folk, they discussing wings and shit up here. God damn. I ordered the two piece. Just split them bitches evenly and get that shit over with. Nah, I'm fucking with He look like he got a gun, fuck that. Um, so here's my, here's my finishing, my, my finishing uh, joke. Um, so real quick, two quick hands. Fuck the hands, I'm just doing choosing. What's, what's something that you hate more than anything? Just, did he just say white people? So actually, I'm gonna alter this joke because uh, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. So, so speaking of that racist shit that just happened, um, you know, I recently got a ticket uh, from a goddamn uh, one of them little picture things. They sent me a picture in the mail, and I was kind of mad. I'm like, what type of fuck ass shit is this? They sending me a goddamn picture in the mail, giving me a ticket. Then all the police shootings start happening. I said, you know what? This ticket might have been kind of convenient. I, after a while, I just started posing for the fucking camera like them bitches in the club and shit. I was squatting and shit. <laughs> going up the middle thing and shit. Hey, bitch. I took that goddamn ticket. All right, man, I'm done. Uh, my name is Rudy Wilson. Apparently, I'm tall and handsome. One, one out of two ain't bad. Um, these black folk up here got chicken for sale. And uh, fuck y'all. Have a good one.